749, we would like to welcome to the uh, program now, Kim Russo, the happy medium. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And, and your day's going well, I hope? It is. It is. Awesome. No, not as early as you, but we're <laughs> back here on the East Coast. Well, listen, um, you, of course, are uh, world famous. You, you're a star of the uh, Lifetime Movie Network's uh, number one rated show, The Haunting of. When I, I mentioned that uh, we were going to have you on around here, a couple of the folks like, oh, she's my favorite. I like her. <laughs> You've got the talent that you discovered uh, a few years ago when you were nine, uh, that basically you could communicate with the dead, that you could talk to the dead or the dead talk to you. How, how is that working? Are you talking to them or are they talking to you? Both. We, we're having a two-way conversation. It, now, is that conversation outwardly vocal? Is this uh, inwardly in, in mind communication? How is the communication between you and the dead going on? Yes, mostly with me it's mentally, um, mental, you know, mental connection. Okay. Uh, so it's in, inside, internally. I will repeat everything they're saying, to, uh, you know, the sitter. I will always share what messages come through. I don't hold anything back. Uh, because whatever they have to say, I feel is it's just not my job to decipher or to uh, you know extract anything. I just deliver the mail like a mailman. <laughs> okay, and you've you've on the program on the haunting of you've talked to a lot of different folks from Regis to I saw Travis Tritt was on the list, uh, Kim Carnes, um, Vanessa Williams who's been on this program, Vince Neal. I mean uh, Wayne Newton, a lot of different folks. Uh, c- coming onto the program, every time someone comes on, have you been able to communicate s- with somebody from their life uh, that's uh, that's gone? I have to say, uh, we, we, we were, we're into 80, 80 episodes and counting, and uh, yes, I've never not connected with a, a family member, a friend, a relative, and, you know, depending who chose to come through, there was always some sort of connection, without a doubt, yes. When you're talking and making a connection, because obviously we all have so many people that uh, we've had some kind of tie-in with uh, that have passed and moved on, uh, how do you not have a line of people wanting to talk to that particular person through you? And and, and is there a, a common denominator of the type of person, whether it be a death or a relationship, that seems to be the one that stands in front of the line to communicate? No, there's no rhyme or reason who comes through. Yes, some people tribe of people with them. Uh, it's as if they got word on the other side that there's going to be some kind of party and that they're all showing up for it. And uh, Yes, yeah, sometimes I get overwhelmed when I see the crowd standing <laughs> behind the person. Uh, but, but I do have a rule, and my spirit guides help me do this work. Uh, first of all, everybody has a spirit guide that helps them do their job, whatever that may be. Okay. And my guides uh, are like bouncers at the door, and they know. And even if ten spirits come to talk to me at once, I have to be like that teacher standing in the front of the room and say, one at a time, please. I can't listen to you all at once. And I'm very strict with my rules and my boundaries. And, and somehow they, they do listen to me on the other side. So otherwise I don't listen to them. I have a rule. If, if you want me to be your voice, I can only understand one at a time. And so it does seem to work. Talking with Kim Russo, the uh, happy medium, can you explain to the naysayers and uh, those uh, non-believers uh, really what the other side is all about and how we have people that we can so well uh, and so familiar with make a connection with uh, on the living, but what's what really is the other side? You know, when people are dead, what is really going on on that kind of stuff? So you may be shocked to hear me say this, but really the dead live here on Earth. The other side is the most vibrant place with life and love and, and unity and connection and everything we, we hope to have here. But we are like the walking dead here because who's living in fear? Who feels separate from one another? Uh, all kinds of ego players out here. So the re- the, it's, it's such an illusion that this is the reality and that's this place that we can't see. That's our spiritual home where we all came from. So our souls have recognition of that place. Everybody already has been there because that's where we came from. So um, what's, it's just funny is we forget about that. That's what we forget. Uh, but we all go back there once we're done in these physical three-dimensional bodies that serve us no purpose, really, except to learn the, the, the extreme lessons um, uh, trying to get us back to our true nature, which is love. 
But the other side is our true nature. And it's there, and it's, it's beautiful, and it's vibratory. Uh, there's an animal kingdom, the same way we have here. They told me one thing, though, about the animal kingdom that's different over there, and this is such an interesting tidbit. I don't write about this in the book, but um, they said that there's animals over there that are in the wild here on Earth that don't kill each other like they do here. And the reason they don't kill each other over there is because there's no need to eat food. That makes sense. I, I, strangely enough, it does. Strangely enough, it does. So, uh, in, in, in backing up a little bit back from the animal thing, just to the overall uh, uh, description or definition, um, the, the spirits is there a scientific? Can this be pl- uh, explained as uh, as a electrical force? Uh, how would you explain yeah. what really a spirit is? Yes, and, and let me just backtrack. Um, uh, the spiritual world is a world that mimics ours. In, in things that we will recognize, but only be- more beautiful and more grand on every level. So it's, it's a world we will recognize. There's trees, there's lakes, there's rivers, there's streams, there's mountains, everything like we have here. It's just a, a vibrating at a different speed of light. That's how that works. Okay. Um, now, the other question you just asked me was, remind me. Uh, was that the electrical force one? Yes. Electromagnetic energy is what... Uh, soul vibrates uh, too. So you have these people with these Geiger counters walking around and these Mm -hmm. electromagnetic machines that detect that type of energy. Um, So yes, we are made of electromagnetic energy, and that's what a soul, that's the connection, and and that's how we connect to energy. And we usually connect through our heart, because the heart is a, a, a very high voltage energetic system in the human aura, and uh, and most mediums connect right through their heart chakra. And in the book, I talk about how to open that and activate the heart chakra so that you can better relate to the energy that's all around us Uh, and use more of the right brain instead of the the cognitive thinking skills, which is all the left brain, and that's uh, what most of the world uh, operates from is the analytical thinking. Uh, so the right brain is more the divine, creative, inspirational connection to the divine, and, th- and that's where you're going to find all your power. Kim, it's been a pleasure talking to you. The uh, book's called The Happy Medium, Life Lessons from the Other Side. Uh, I've always been on kind of that page that uh, if there was, and I, you know, like a lot, uh, uh, probably more than than others, uh, a, uh, you know, a, a skeptic, but I've always thought if, if it was possible, it'd have to be somewhere along that electrical path uh, explanation. But uh, I, I look forward to reading through the book and learning more of the happy medium life lessons from the other side. I would assume, Kim, this is available at the uh, normal book outlets. All of them, yes, absolutely. Kindle, you name it. It's there. Audio as well. All right. A pleasure talking to you. And uh, maybe sometime I'd love to, uh, if we're near each other, get a, a reading and see who's trying to uh, talk to me through you. Okay. You got it. It's a deal. All right, Kim. Thank you very much, Kim Russo, the Happy Medium. Have a great day today. Bye-bye. You too. Enjoy. All right. See ya.